All right, it is Friday afternoon, and we are at Animal Care Hospital in Long Beach. And I uh, was doing some communicating through social media again um, over this bird. And uh, so anyway, this guy here was an African gray that did it. Okay. So uh, turns out another another bird at the house, an African gray, had actually bit off this guy's beak. Um, as I'm looking at it, I can actually see some leftover protein from the from the scoots. But unfortunately, uh, and some germinal tissue, but we're not gonna know exactly how this is gonna heal for at least a little, for a few more weeks or so. Anyway, um, mom is in today for some advice and how to make this work. I'm trying not to stress him too much. Um, <laughs> he's looking back like, dude, I can't handle it. Um, anyway, so uh, this is what it looks like today. I'll try to get some better pictures of the beak so we can actually judge this later and see how well we're going. Oh, turn around. Look. You just, oh, maybe. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Okay, of the uh, number of cases we've seen over the years, one of the things that I actually noticed about this guy is he does know he's injured and he knows he looks kind of kind of weird. Uh, as a matter of fact, when he came in, he was hiding his head inside of this thing. Um, so he's uh, he's quite quite aware of, uh, of how bad he looks and probably how much it hurts. So this will be interesting to see how, uh, how and when this guy gets over this and if we ever get over it. But uh, um, this will be a neat case. So that's what it looked like for now. That is a pretty big crack up the side of that beak there. The good news is his nares are intact. And he's breathing okay. All right, we're going to send him home with some oral antibiotics. We're going to have this uh, this antibiotic placed in the, in the water itself. And uh, that will actually coat that area as well as uh, give him some internal antibiotics to fight the infection from the inside out. So, all right, we have a plan. Later.